What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to those out there. It is uh, the Earth Master here on the live stream. It is Saturday, February 19, 2022, uh, about 11.30 a.m. It looks like here along the west coast in uh, California. Latest quake out there on the globe shows a 5.4 earthquake. Down here in the southern Pacific Antarctica Plate area, let's look at that. Uh, let's look this earthquake up on the latest map here on the USGS. I was also watching a uh, earthquake come into the Solomon Islands region, but the USGS not showing any uh, earthquake activity out there uh, at the moment in that region. There's the uh, 5.4 down here in the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, right there on the plate boundary of the uh, Pacific and the uh, Antarctic plate, uh, Antarctica plate, uh, 5.4 at 10 kilometers below the surface. Haven't seen too much movement down here in this area of the world recently, but uh, looking like a little bit of activity picking up today in that region. Uh, further up to the north in the Kermadec Trench, a 5.1, uh, actually into the Tonga Trench here it looks like. Just south of the Tonga region, 5.1 at 10 kilometers. Pretty sh pretty quiet earthquake activity here. And a pretty shallow earthquake there with that uh, five-pointer. To the west here, we're still kind of waiting on that uh, earthquake uh, update from the USGS on that uh, well, seismograph station here that uh, was showing some earthquake activity on the live stream. Papua New Guinea had a 5.1 yesterday. Pretty shallow earthquake within that region and some scattered activity throughout the Indonesia, Indonesia region. Let's see if we can spit this out today. Uh, Philippines, what do we got out here in the Philippines? At a 4.4 near the Santa Cruz area, 61.3 kilometers, pretty deep earthquake there in that region. The rest of the Western Pacific plate looks pretty quiet except for one 5.0 south of Japan. Uh, looks like a right, right around the uh, trench region right here. Pretty shallow earthquake, but uh, the remainder, look up here through the north. The uh, Japan Trench northward through, through the Aleutian Trench, all quiet. Uh, in fact, nothing above 2.5 in Alaska. It's kind of a little on the odd side. Let's go back to the all magnitudes here. And uh, we can see, see a little bit of movement there in the microquake area. Microquake range around the Anchorage area and southward through the Cook Inlet. A little swarm of activity here. Um, a couple twos kicking up here just to the west of the Prince William Sound. Looking down along the west coast. Got some activity including a little odd quake out here. 2.3. Desert Air, Washington. Uh, looks like 7.1 kilometers here for this earthquake. Kind of an odd one way out there. The rest of uh, the Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. Some microquakes up here around the Seattle area. Uh, most of the activity appears to be down in California today. A little bit of movement uh, from last night here. It had a uh, 1.7 off the coast, or on the coast there, south of the uh, Eureka area. Also some movement over here around the Chester area, southeast of Mount Lassen with 1.6. No further activity within the last hour there at the geysers, the uh, hydrothermal operations there south of Clear Lake all that most of that activity from yesterday uh, some movement uh, once again around the bay area with a little bit of activity just off the san andreas fault zone here looking at uh, a pair of earthquakes 1.6 and a 1.3 in this area of the plate boundary and continued creeping sec uh, the creeping section here continued with a little bit of microquake activity overnight and this morning um, not a whole lot to report here on the eastern part of Sierra Nevada once again. Just kind of an odd deal going on here uh, with the quiet spell that's looming over the eastern part of the Sierra Nevada. Uh, Ridgecrest area still um, just kind of spotty in terms of uh, the multitude of quakes here. Some activity in the microquake range. Let's see what we got for 2.5 and above throughout California. Uh, wasn't a whole lot. Nothing really down south here. Just uh, outside of the Tom's Place, Long Valley Super Volcano up here. That was, activity was from last night. Did see one earlier this morning, a 2.7 near the Bodie, California area. Uh, 6.7 kilometers, but uh, man, it's just a little on the odd side when it comes to the uh, activity currently taking place here along the West Coast. 
Uh, not a whole lot going on through the Intermountain West, Texas. A little bit of activity out there in the Pecos, Texas region of the uh, uh, Guadalupe Peak up here. South of the New Mexico, Texas state line there, 3.5 and then 2.7. And uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the rest of the country. Puerto Rico, some activity from last night. Even then, uh, looks like it's dying down a little bit in the Puerto Rico area. Middle America Trench as well. South America, pretty quiet. Just seems as though uh, kind of at a halt here for our normal, typical earthquake activity. Uh, big island of Hawaii down here along the southeast region. Some activity, but uh, 19 earthquakes. That's it. Looking at the 2.5 and above, nothing. So uh, even here on the big island, kind of a little on the quiet spell. Uh, so what else we got? Not a whole lot to really even chat about here today. Um, just looking at these odd quakes down to the south here and uh, kind of the westward push of movement uh, can only help but wonder uh, if we're gonna see an uptick here along the west coast just due to this kind of quiet spell pretty much everywhere uh, if you take notice here we see a lot of activity generally kick up on either side of the plate when one or the other is quiet but in terms of uh, activity right now, it kind of looks like they're they're both quiet when it comes to the west uh, coast and the eastern coast over here of Japan. Just kind of a uh, kind of on the quiet spell at the moment, folks. One little earthquake out here around the uh, Tajikistan area, right? 4.2 at 194 kilometers. I think that was from last night too. I remember chatting about that uh, on the update video last night. So. Not a whole lot of new quakes here within the last um, few hours. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model. See what these folks are reporting here. Uh, give them a second. Solomon Islands quake. I'm guessing it's that 4.3 that struck here just a little bit ago. 1852. It is the latest quake there on the on the map. But I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say if that's the... Uh, that looks a little bit further west than the uh let's go ahead and zoom in here see what we got maybe it's smaller than a four pointer uh, these guys will show the 3.0 and sometimes twos in the international community which is kind of cool to uh, monitor in terms of looking at seismic activity and not sure what's going on with this site here it's been relatively slow past few days or so and I'm not gonna sit here and wait all day there EMSC all right we'll check those guys out later then earthquakes Canada wow not a whole lot going on at all either along this area of the North American plate nothing within the last couple days most of this activity over the last week or so in the last month and uh, it's just eerily quiet folks Yellowstone National Park uh, same goes for this region. We were watching a little swarm of, uh, last week or so, early last week, in the northwest corner and the uh, area over Yellowstone. But uh, things kind of quieting down. There's not a whole lot going on here at the moment. Let's check out the National Data Buoy Center for uh, any abnormal um, activity. This is this area over here around the Andaman Sea was a little. Looks like they may have had a, another. Um, some type of adjustment there on their wave height. I'm not for sure if it's a some type of technical error or what, but uh, kind of seen this yesterday as well where we had a drop down today, kind of have an up, if you will, a little uplift of the water column height. But uh, it's hard to say exactly if that is interference, uh, but we will continue to watch that pretty closely. Uh, solar weather. We got anything going on here in the solar weather department? Uh, just uh, kind of a little on the odd side when it comes to the plate tectonics at the moment. Of course, it does come and go, right, with activity. Got the slow days and we got the uh, the crazy days. Right now we're kind of in a, a little lull of activity. Um, well, flaring. Not a whole lot to chat about there on the flaring uh, map. Looks like uh, possible auroras on the... Uh, 
or the uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast there for the storming higher latitudes and mid latitudes there at uh, February 20th G1 class storm predicted predicted or forecasted I should say never know it could be a little flake there and just not uh, even reach that level so yeah not man not a whole lot going on here folks uh, I guess a good time to chat about uh, kind of opened up a, a merchant store on the uh, earth master page here on YouTube channel it is on the live stream and I will include it uh, I think YouTube should be including it now that it's linked to the uh, um, Teespring store right now we just have a limited selection of items when it comes to the earth master merchandise uh, shirts sweaters coffee mugs face masks um, and some other items in there with uh, just very limited colors I will be adding uh, several other colors on there um, soon but uh, go check it out uh, it is provided in the pinned comment on the live stream and it will be added onto the uh, onto this update video in the uh, description below so yeah just kind of a uh, eerie quiet folks nothing I mean there's really nothing even in a red circle out here uh, over the last uh, hour or so when it comes to the USGS earthquake activity just uh, kind of quiet all right folks enjoy your day gonna get outside enjoy some Sun here in California supposed to be uh, I think 73 or 74 degrees again today uh, big cool down for the rest of the country coming up uh, as we get some Arctic air come down from uh, Canada even gonna hit parts of California so we're supposed to be below normal and a return of frost and whatnot here in the uh, Sacramento Valley so we'll see how that goes not looking forward to that considering we just planted the garden earlier last week hoping the frost would stay away but uh, we'll see how it goes all right guys enjoy the day and um what do we got going on on the solar flux here a little bit of activity it looks like nothing significant uh, monitoring the uh, flare activity on the sun all righty we'll chat you guys a little bit later enjoy the quietness peace out